Welcome back, Liberty lovers. You got to listen up because I've got two very important stories that could directly affect your personal freedom and privacy, and each will be coming to a head very soon. Now, first, Congress is poised to extend FISA, the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, which allows the government to spy on Americans. Second, the Supreme Court expected to rule on a case that will determine whether police need a warrant to track your cell phone when you are suspected of a crime. Each can be easily abused, which is why, of course, we need to fight back. But will our privacy prevail? In either case, joining me now, Fox News senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Uh, Judge, what is the status of uh, Section 702 of the FISA law? Section 702 of the FISA law is the uh, section that permits federal agents to go to a secret court meeting in Washington, D.C. and get a warrant to listen to telephone calls and capture the content of all electronic or digital uh, communication on the basis of less than what the Constitution requires. The Constitution says no searches without warrants, no warrants without probable cause, meaning there's evidence of wrongdoing on the part of the person that the government wants to surveil. The FISA statute does not require the government to come forth with that evidence. Yeah. They can listen to anybody. But it's worse than that. The whole concept of FISA, the whole concept of a federal agent going to a secret court and getting a secret warrant to, to conduct secret surveillance is a subterfuge because in reality it is far less expensive and easier for the government to simply surveil everyone all the time and that's what they do. I will say it again. The NSA pretends to be following the FISA statute, the yeah. one that expires in a couple of months or one month now, and that they want the Congress to uh, reinstate. In reality, they don't fi follow that statute. They pretend to follow it. We've seen it. those abuses. The Correct. NSA has, has actually uh, come out and said, yeah, this is where we crossed the line during the Obama administration. That's only the stuff they told us about. I mean, there, there has been some reporting and some interagency squabbles that have led to a little bit more sunlight on some of these very problematic you're, leanings. You're exactly right. Remember when the NSA first claimed, well, we don't have content, we just have metadata. What yeah. the heck's metadata? And oh. they tried to minimize what metadata was. Right, that's the who, what, when, where, and what phone number. Now they admit that they have content. And that's something that you have been saying all along, that they yep. get billions of emails every single day. Correct. And it is, it is all warrantless and it is all uh, essentially illegal. But you also say that Congress is terrified of the intelligence community. Therefore, they're, they're not going to change anything. Look at what the intelligence community did to the president of the United States when he was president-elect, releasing scurrilous, groundless information about him that they claimed to verify. No wonder he's got it in for them because because he knows what they can do. They have the power to do the same thing to almost anybody. The late great Justice Scalia himself told me he believed that the NSA was spying on the Supreme Court. Well, yeah. if they'll spy on the Supreme Court and they'll spy on the president, they'll spy on the Congress and they'll spy on everybody else. And then they know too much more about us than the Constitution authorizes them to know. Well, speaking of the Supreme Court, there's a case that they're going to hear right. uh, this week yes. about the use of cell phone towers as information goes from one cell phone tower to the next okay. and tracking your behavior and information warrants Currently, uh, the lower courts ruled against uh, a defendant who said that his rights were violated Correct. when he was convicted of several robberies. What do you think is going to happen? Okay, in so court? the defendant drove around and scoped out uh, a Radio Shack and a couple of businesses like that, which he eventually robbed. In his car, I'm holding up my iPhone, was his mobile device. He didn't know that the mobile device records everywhere he goes. So the police, by gathering this information from either stealing the, uh, the wireless information coming from the mobile device or asking a phone company for it, were able to track all of his records, all of his movements, and yeah. demonstrate to a jury, look, he walked around this place five times, and then he robbed it. He walked around that place, and then he robbed it. Question, can they get that information, that private information of where your phone has been without a warrant? Answer, Supreme Court has said, gathering electronic surveillance is a search or seizure under the Fourth Amendment. The Fourth Amendment, same provision of the Constitution we're just talking about under FISA, yeah. says no searches and seizures without warrants. All they have to do is present the evidence they have about this person to a judge, and if the judge says there is probable cause, the judge will sign the warrant. 
if they can do this without a warrant, yeah. then there is no limit to what the government can get from us. You want to keep your browsing records on the internet to yourself? You better hope that the government loses this case. And do you think they're going to lose, and along what fault lines? I do think they will lose. I think we will see a Justice Gorsuch come to the side of the Fourth Amendment, along with the more, with the four more, far more liberal members of the court and the conservatives, our buddies, in my case, my personal buddies, dissenting. Oh. I hope I am right. I hope that this is I a decision. I think Clarence decision. Thomas, I think Justice Thomas will, will join Neil Gorsuch. I think he, he has been good on some of these issues. You know, the Fourth Amendment protects persons, houses, papers, and effects. What do you call the computer chip inside this? An effect. Yeah, I mean, there's there's no better definition in the modern era, and that's not changing the definition or the application of the Constitution. Right. It's just the reality and the evolution of society and our effect. Is this guy guilty of these robberies? He probably is. Is there enough evidence to convict him without violating his rights? There absolutely is. Yeah. But sometimes the Constitution protects the criminality of a few in order to insulate the privacy of all of us. Well said. Judge Napolitano, That's thank you so much. That's who said it. I'm just repeating it. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> we'll take it where we can get it. Thank you so much. You're welcome.